Hey guys, so it's time for you to do a quick little Geekbench 3 uh, benchmark test here. I did a M22 benchmark test as well here on iOS 8.1.3, the new iOS update. Uh, and I got actually a pretty surprising score. The iPhone 4S seems to score pretty high, I think, or at least so at least. So let's see here if it's the same in Geekbench or if there's just as it usually is. So yeah, let's uh, run this here. And of course, it's gonna take way longer here to run this on the iPhone 4S than uh, like the iPhone 6 Plus and the iPhone 6, which can actually run this pretty, pretty fast. But if you want the GPU graphical test as well that you can see visually, uh, then uh, go check out my N22 benchmark test video. So, uh, pretty interesting here. Single core score is the same actually on the 6 plus and the 6, uh, but the multi core score <laughs> it scored two more, two more there in the multi core score. So, yeah, the iPhone 6 there, the winner, and then we do get the iPhone 5S, which as usually is just a little bit uh, behind the brand new iPhones, but I mean, it's definitely not worth upgrading to like buy a new iPhone 6 instead of an iPhone 5S. I mean, the, the upgrade, it's so small. Um, the 5S or I mean the 5C here and the 5 uh, have same internals as well, but we do see a little bit higher score here on the iPhone 5. Uh, same goes with the single core score. So that's interesting. And you can see here it's only have been doing half uh, the test now on the iPhone 4S. So yeah. <laughs> Come on now, iPhone four us, you are behind. You're pretty slow to lie. But then again, it's a two thousand eleven phone. So still very, very impressive how it is running. Or is it 2011? Yes, it must be. Wow, the iPhone 5 came out 2012? Huh, that's weird. Time goes fast, guys. I'm getting old. <laughs> 2013 5S, 2014 iPhone 6, yeah. Huh, that's weird. So soon it's starting to finish up here. And usually three times slower than an iPhone 5. Hopefully uh, Apple will like get an even way stronger dual core processor in the future so we see a fun uh, performance speed. It actually seems like the boost is a little bit in the iPhone 4s uh, than uh, in the earlier versions of the iOS. Uh, it seems to be getting, I think, a tiny, tiny bit higher. But uh, yeah, quick little test here. Hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna do other things as well. So um, make sure you stay tuned for that if you're interested. Have an awesome day.